Hey Divi Nation, thanks for joining us for this documentation video that's all about Divi's powerful selective sync feature. Now this feature is applied to Divi global items. So what this means is, let's say you have a call to action that you've saved to your Divi library as a global item, but you don't want the content within that call to action to be the same in every iteration of it across your website. So what this allows you to do is sync only the design settings without the content settings or vice versa. And so we're gonna show you how to do that and a lot more in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Selective Sync in Divi. Selective Sync gives you the power to choose which specific settings you want to sync for a global module. So for any global module you save to your library, you can choose to selectively sync any or all of the settings within each of the content, design, or advanced tabs. And if you take advantage of Selective Sync, it will save you tons of time when building and updating your website using the Divi Builder. Let me show you an example. Here, I'm using the Visual Builder, and I have a header module at the top of my page here. This is actually a full width header module. And since I want to keep this overall design uh, consistent on all of my headers throughout my website, it's a good idea to go ahead and make this a global item and then go ahead and use the selective sync options to customize my global item to only sync the design aspects of this full width header and not the content. So I'm going to hover over my full width header module and then I'm going to click on this save to library. And when I click on that, it's going to bring up the add to library modal there and I'm going to enter my template name. I'm just going to give it the name global header. I do want to select save as a global item since selective sync does work with your global items save to library and now I'm going to go over and check out my library just to show you what that looks like within the back end so to get to your library you simply go to your WordPress dashboard and hover over Divi and click on Divi library this one is the one I just added it's called global header and it is a global item and this is where all of your items will be stored. Now, going back, now that I have my global items saved, I want to go into my settings here. And you'll notice you have some icons on the left of each one of my options here. And this is your selective sync icon which allows you to toggle on and off whether or not you want to sync this specific setting or option. And you will notice that every one of these options has the selective sync icon next to it. So if I go to my link section, you'll see them there and so on. Even in my design tab, you'll, you'll see all, all of my options have this selective sync icon. Even in the advanced tab, all of my options have the selective sync icon there as well. So you can see the power of selective sync in that I can choose any one of these individual options to sync with my global module. I could go through and deselect every one of them except for one, or I can just choose to sync everything except for one. It really is up to you popular way to use this selective sync functionality is with your full width headers or your headers because this allows you to keep the design of your header basically everything in your design tab that you have customized and even in your advanced along with maybe your background and your content tab um, all of the things that you've used to kind of keep this or to make this look exactly how you want it for your site but what you want to change on your headers is your content not only your 
header and subheaders here, but also your button text. So what I'm going to do for this full width header global module is I'm going to deselect the title, the subheading text, the button text. I'm going to deselect content. And basically what I'm saying here is I want everything to sync up with my global module except for these items. I also want to deselect my links because those will change on a case by case basis. Um, you know, this is, you know, maybe you will want to add a, a logo or a header image down the road, but it's really up to you whether or not you want that to be synced to all of your headers or not. So it's really up to you. I don't have a logo or header, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, okay, so here's my background. I have a background image and a, I'm choosing to use the parallax effect and choosing uh, true parallax as my method. So I do want to keep this throughout all of my headers. So I'm going to make sure and keep this as a synced item. And in my design tab, I'm just going to keep it all saved as synced items because I want this to update or carry over to all of my global modules. All right. So now that I have that updated, I'm going to go ahead and save my global module settings or selective sync settings, and I'm going to save my page. Now what I'm going to do is go over to a new page and I'm using a visual builder here to add my new header. And so what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to go ahead and pull that header that I just have saved in my library here. So remember, we saved it to our library, this global header, global item. I'm going to go ahead and pull that from the library using this visual builder. To do that, I'm going to add a new section. Now this is a full width module, so I need to use the full width section. And then instead of selecting a new full width header, I'm going to go and get the one I have saved from my library. So I click on add from library tab here and it, as you can see, there it is my global header that I have saved from my library. Click on it and there you go. Now, um, as you can see, I have um, my, I can see my background and my kind of overlay color there, but I don't really see anything else. So you might think, oh, it didn't work. Well, actually it did because um, all I need to do now is add the content and all the design changes will remain in effect. So let's go ahead and erase this top one here and let's jump into our module settings. Now remember, we have deselected these as synced items. So I can go ahead and up, update this without worrying about it affecting any of my other full width header global items. All right. So I'll just put in new header. And as you can see, the design remains. Um, this is a subheading text. I don't think we had any subheading text on our last one, but um, say new button. And let's go ahead and just paste in some content here. And let's go ahead and if I if I needed to, I could update my links. Um, and that's it. Let's go ahead and save it out. And all right, now let's go ahead and make sure and go back to our other module. And as you can see, the content of the original global module here that I created was not affected. The text is remain has remained different. Um, 
than the one that I just created here. So as you can see, this is going to save you a whole lot of time when building future pages uh, because you can simply add your header and then update the content and you're done. And that's one aspect of how uh, using Selective Sync can benefit you. But there's also the, you know, the other aspect um, that allows you to adjust the design settings on a global scale to, you know, speed up the process of making, you know, design updates to your site. So, for example, now that I have these two uh, global items uh, with Selective Sync uh, set, um, I can go to my design settings here for my global item. And if I go to the design tab here and I select the layout option, and let's say I want to give this a centered design here or a centered layout. And I want to, of course, make that update for all of my pages that have this header. Well, this is easy because it is a global module and because my selective sync option is remained has remained intact here, so it will sync. I can go ahead and save it out. And then when I go to my other page here, um, you can refresh the page and see that that change will automatically be updated for this full width header as well. So again, saving you a whole lot of time. You can imagine if you had 20 pages with this header design and you wanted to make these, you know, small changes to it, you don't have to worry about doing it, you know, for each and every header. Um, you can just simply update it once and then you are done. Um, so, uh, Selective Sync is a very powerful tool. And uh, that concludes our overview of Selective Sync using Divi.